Hey, so I'm in Adobe Premiere 2025, and let me show you something. So it comes with this built-in crop, and this is something you might run into. I have a crop pick, a background, and a shadow, but the shadow is not showing, and that's because it's getting cropped. So you need a workaround, and the workaround is you want to disable the motion, replace it with transform, and that's going to be just like motion, but without that built-in crop feature. Now, this is very important. You want to take the transform and put it right below the crop. If you had it right above crop, then when you move the position, it's getting cropped. You don't want that. So move the transform right below crop. Okay, now we will position this to the center. And you will now see if I take the drop shadow, it's showing here on the right. And also, it's also showing on the left, even though that's where the crop is. Now, let's say you want to put a push on this. So, at the beginning of the clip, keyframe the position and the scale. And the reason you want to keyframe the position is the anchor point will get screwed up with this effect. So, just keyframe the position and then go to the end of the clip, give it a little bump, and you can also recenter just a little. Now you'll notice if you play this back, what are called tres leches cookies. It's a slightly shaky push. And to solve that, just go to shutter angle and bring this up. And that will make what it are called tres leches nice cookies. and smooth. Now, in a perfect world, the crop effect would work just as you'd like, but unfortunately, this is how it is. So if you run into this, this is the workaround. Hope this helps. Thanks.